Previously, we've discussed the cross ratio. It's when we have four points on a straight line. The cross ratio we define as AD divided by DC times CB divided by BA, as given here. Or if we label the lengths of the segments AB, BC, and CD as X, Y, and Z, it's equivalent to saying X plus Y plus Z divided by Z times Y divided by X, as given here. You can also use the mnemonic where you put a multiplication sign and division sign, multiplication sign, division sign at the four points, and then you start at the point A and you go like x plus y plus z divided by z times y divided by x, and then you come right back to where you started, meaning that the cross ratio is complete. But sometimes this ratio turns out to be 1, and in this case we call that the points A, B, C, and D are in harmonic division. You're most likely gonna see it written as A, B, C, D equals negative 1. And the negative comes from the directed segments. If, for example, we choose the direction from the left to the right to be the positive direction, then we have a positive length divided by a negative length times a negative length divided by a negative length, so the result is negative. If, on the other hand, we choose the direction from right to left to be the positive direction, then we have a negative length divided by a positive length times a positive length divided by a positive length, which is again negative. So, seeing it as negative 1 is the same as just saying all the distance between A and D divided by distance between B and C times the distance between C and B divided by the distance between B and A equals 1, that's the same thing. And now we're going to study where the harmonic division occurs most often. Suppose you have a triangle and you choose a random point inside of the triangle, and you connect that point with the three vertices of the triangle with lines until these lines intersect the sides of the triangle at these three points. You choose two of the points and you connect them with this blue line until this line intersects this line at this point. Then the four marked points in green are in harmonic division always. And here's how we can prove that. Label this segment as A, this segment as B, this segment as C, this one D, this one E, this one F, and this one G. Then apply Menelaus theorem for this triangle and the blue line. Then we know that A plus B plus C divided by C times D divided by E times F divided by G equals 1 as given here. Now apply Chebos theorem for this triangle and this point here. Then you have that A divided by B times D divided by E times F divided by G equals 1, which is given here. And now notice that this part and this part are exactly the same. So if we divide this equality by this equality, these things are going to cancel out. We get that A plus B plus C divided by C times B divided by A equals 1. So A plus B plus C divided by C times B divided by A equals 1, meaning that the points, the four points here, are in harmonic division, because this here is the cross ratio of these four points. And now, by projecting these four points with respect to this point onto this line, we get that this point goes here, this point goes here, this point goes here, and this point stays at its place. Then, since the cross ratio gets preserved under such projections, we get that if these four points were in harmonic division, then these four points are also in harmonic division. Therefore, this divided by this times this divided by this equals 1. We can also reason in the reverse direction. Suppose we know that these four points are in harmonic division. So we know that a plus b plus c divided by c times b divided by a equals 1. And suppose that on this line, you choose a random point here, and then you connect this point and this point like this, intersecting this line here. And you connect this point and this point like this, intersecting this line here. Then we get this point, this point, and this point, which have to lie on the straight line, because these four points are in harmonic division. See, we have from Cheva's theorem applied for this triangle and this point, that A divided by B times D divided by E times F divided by G equals 1, as given here. And we know this is true, because these four points are in harmonic division. And now we can multiply this equality by this equality. B divided by A is going to cancel out with A divided by B. And we get A plus B plus C over C from here times d over e times f over g from here, and this equals 1. But this is exactly the statement of Menelaus' theorem applied for this triangle and these three points. This is a plus b plus c divided by c times d divided by e times f divided by g. And from this and Menelaus' theorem, we conclude that these three points lie on a straight line. There is one more thing we need to note about the harmonic division and projecting it with respect to a point. Suppose that these four points here are in harmonic division and that we want to project them with respect to this point onto this line. And suppose that this line and this line are parallel. Then what do we do? Well, this point stays fixed in place. This point goes here, 
this point goes here, and this point goes to, well, this line doesn't really intersect this line, then we say that this point goes to the point of infinity, somewhere infinitely far away. Then, if these four points were initially in harmonic division, then these three points along with the fourth point in the point of infinity must also be in harmonic division. But what does that mean? Well, it means that this distance from this point to the point of infinity divided by the distance from the point of infinity to this point times this divided by this, so y divided by x, equals 1. But now note that this point of infinity is so far away in this direction that we can essentially assume that the distance from this point to the point of infinity equals the distance between this point and the point of infinity. If you want to verify this, suppose that this was a finite point somewhere really far, and calculate the ratio this divided by this, it would be really really close to 1. And then the further this point goes in this direction, then the closer the ratio this divided by this becomes to 1. So when this point becomes infinitely far away, then the ratio of this divided by this becomes infinitely close to 1, so we just consider it to be exactly 1. Therefore, the ratio this divided by this times this divided by this equals 1, and this divided by this equals 1, and so the ratio y divided by x must also equal 1. Therefore, x equals y. Or in other words, we have a midpoint here. This is a midpoint of this segment. Today we're going to have two optional problems. The first one is given here. We have a triangle, and this here is a random point on the inside of the triangle. So we connect the lines like this and like this, and this is how we get these two points and this line, and we intersect it with this line here at this point. We also choose a random point here on this line, and we connect it with this point like that and with this point like that. That's how we get this point and this point. And we need to prove that this point, this point, and this point lie on a straight line. And here's the solution. The solution is quite simple. First we notice that the four green points are actually in harmonic division, since we have a triangle, a random point in the triangle, lines like this, like this, and like this, and like this, and that's how the four green points are defined, which means that they must be in harmonic division. Then we can project these four points with respect to this point onto this line, and that's how we get that the four purple points are actually in harmonic division. And now we can apply the same property of harmonic divisions, but this time for this triangle, with this point on the inside, which we connect like that, like that, and like that, intersecting it with the sides of the triangle at these three points, then we need to show that this point, this point, and this point are collinear. But this is exactly true if and only if these four points are in harmonic division. But we know that these are in harmonic division, therefore these three points must lie on a straight line. This is the second optional problem. Suppose we have a quadrilateral, a convex quadrilateral here, and the two pairs of opposite sides intersect at this point here and at this point here. Then we connect this point and this point with this red line, and the diagonals of the quadrilateral intersect at this point. Then we draw a line here that passes through this intersection point of the diagonals and is parallel to this red line here, so the two red lines are parallel, and we intersect it here and here. We need to prove that this point is actually the midpoint of this segment, that this length equals this length. And here's the solution. Let's construct a line defined by this point and this point, and let's intersect it here with this line. Then we know that these four green points are in harmonic division, since that's how we constructed them. We had a triangle, a point on the inside, intersecting this line here, this line here, this line here, and this line here. So these four must be in harmonic division. And now let's try to project these four points onto this red line, with respect to this point here. Then this point would go here, this point would go here, this point would go here. And this point would go to the intersection of this red line and this red line. But the two red lines are parallel, and so this point would go to the point of infinity. And since these four points were in harmonic division in the beginning, then these three points plus the point of infinity would be in harmonic division. But this is only possible when this point is the midpoint of this segment. Or in other words, if this length equals this length. 